Hello my friends and welcome, this is the latest update from Ukraine, let's go to the front lines, we have interesting news coming from the south, it seems like Ukraine still gets the resources to continue attacks on Russian positions in Virboa and Nova Prokopovka, so today our guys even took some of the ground in this area, we have several of the assault vectors over here over here and also towards Nova Prokopivka from Robotina. We got this information from the other source, so here Ukraine even took some terrain ground on the way to advance eastbound. But Russia uses artillery systems to target our positions in that place, but our guys are still performing the great job attacking Russian positions in Verboa. I think that soon Ukrainian army will enter the central part of Verboa village if it goes like that. Also, Ukraine intensified the attacks on other directions at the same area. The fight is ongoing near to Nova Prokopivka, very close to the village itself, and also Ukrainian army has several of the vectors westbound to expand the bridgehead for the further movement. As I showed you in one of my videos, this village is located on higher elevation compared to surrounding terrain. That's why it's quite hard to perform the attacks from this place, especially across this valley. I think that it is also one of the main factors why Ukrainian army advances so slowly on the south. We have also some interesting news from the Bakhmut direction. Today Russia started the attack towards Klishivka once again. Do you want to know the result of it? Well, just wait a little, because I want to shout out the sponsor of today's video and basically my channel. It is also the long-term partner of my channel, the Atlas VPN. Recently they came out with a Black Friday deal, where you may get the Atlas VPN Premium for the record low price, just $149 per month, plus you'll have 12 months extra. This offer is very unique and valid just for my followers. It has military encryption standards strongly securing your data and your devices from being reached by government, unwanted ads and also hackers. I use the VPN all of the time and for me personally Atlas VPN is the best VPN out there. It has a security breach device monitoring feature so it alerts me that someone tries to reach my device then I use the public Wi-Fi. Then I see that message I disconnect from that public Wi-Fi. Atlas VPN is very fast. It guarantees you the best streaming connection then you watch movies on Netflix. And also by changing your virtual location you may get access to watch all of the movies, all of the series on Netflix platform. It helped me a lot. So now my friends please check out my personal link in the video description just below or scan the QR code available on the screen where you may get the Atlas VPN Premium for just $149 per month plus 12 months extra. It is the unique Black Friday deal that is valid for my followers. It is also time limited, so hurry up to join the club. Let's go back to the front lines review. Let's zoom in to the place to show you more information. So Russia uses this road for their advancement uh, to Klishivka. They want to take this village under control once again unsuccessfully each time. There were at least three of the attacks registered so far in this particular area. Ukraine hadn't got enough time to build some of the defense lines in that place, but we have artillery and we have our defense forces, we have FPV drones that are very useful against the Russian attack attempts, so let's go to watch some of the videos. So again we see two of the Russian armored vehicles, as you can see they keep long distance between each other, not as usual, and this time Ukraine used the anti-tank missiles to hit uh, those vehicles. Quite a lot of the shells were fired to the place, and finally the Russian counter-offensive action was stopped. Not just two of the vehicles were used, later on Russia sent even more. Because of the war-related content, I am unable to show you the full video on this platform, but you may always join me on Telegram, it's in the video description just below. And here we see one more picture from the same attack, the first armored vehicle was totally disabled, later on the second one too. And this is the video from Avdiivka. Russia tried to perform the small attack on Avdiivka today, trying again to encircle the town, however they were all repelled, moreover Ukrainian army today attacked the Russian positions, which Russians were able to take before, all of that is in this video, however 
there is something that I again cannot show you on this platform. Here you can see one of the armored vehicles is totally demolished by Ukrainian artillery probably and some Russian is still temporarily alive near to the vehicle. Why temporary? Because the drones do the job. The FPV drones are very effective. For example, this is the Russian Akatsya self-propelled artillery system. You may see the V sign on the turret and it was targeted just with a simple FPV shell that lead that led sorry to detonation of the ammunition of this self-propelled artillery and in its turn the vehicle was totally demolished with its own internal shell explosion the ukrainian army is still more developed in using the fpv drones at least for now but russia is building the factory for the shahi drones and we don't have the long-range drones capable to carry lots of the explosives like shahid 136 so those are the footages of the russian factory that was actually already built maybe there is no equipment inside or maybe there is already as i told you ukraine doesn't have the proper tools to eliminate this factory because it's quite far away from the ukrainian border the factory will start its operation in 2024 we all know that russian soldiers are using lots of the drugs when they fight on the front lines Moreover, I would say that if they use the drugs, they usually do not fight, but relax. This is what happened to the Russian ex-prisoners, current soldiers on the south. Basically, lots of them took the drugs and refused to conduct the order to go and fight. Because of that refusal, Russia was forced to send more capable forces and all of them were caputed by Ukrainian artillery during their advancement. So in this incident, in this video, some of the soldiers came to the positions of these ex-war prisoners and found them intoxicated under the drags. There were lots of those kind of the soldiers and other Russians started to torture them. Hopefully we'll see what happened at the end because they were digging a big hole in the ground probably for their graves. This video put some light on the realities in the Russian army like in communication, like in discipline heavy losses and also drags a perfect set for any kind of the advertisement of the russian army one more interesting video was released lots of the russian soldiers i believe it is far behind the front lines because they used the ordinary vehicles there are no any trenches in the area and more or less the houses are intact and lots of them are just walking on the streets however there is the ukrainian drone and no one is able to spot it it flies quite at the at quite low altitude so russians are walking to this building they use it as their base probably there's the ammunition depot already and they use one more building to yes those are their barracks for sure because they took their belongings they were delivered by those cars to those buildings those are as you may see the ordering civilian buildings and that is what happened to them after all hammers performed the attack on those russian barracks getting rid of two of those buildings as easy as that russia has advanced air defense systems they have missiles they have aviation but they're still unable to stop the hammers missile and it's good this video was filmed on the russian airfield as you can see this is their gliding bomb quite advanced wing on the bottom also stabilizer also two of the fins on the top vertical stabilizers we may call them and it's quite controllable tool to target ukrainian positions i believe this is fab 500 maybe or maybe 250 because it's not very big so what russians are building there is the new roof as you can see on the top probably if you can see it over there they're trying to cover their airplanes from the aerial attacks uh, by ukrainian drones my friends i'm sorry about my voice i know that it sounds terrible now i have tons of ladies and still have fever high temperature anyways i need to record the video because you watch me and it's good so hopefully in a few days i'll be okay but now 
obviously it's very hard for me to do my job but after all it's my job okay this video is interesting so russian btr was ambushed and some of the russian infantry soldiers were just walking around and they saw how ukrainian drone started to fly around them the fpv drone and some of them went inside that demolished vehicle it was their big mistake because ukrainian drone also went inside that vehicle leaving no chances for those who were inside to survive russia lost one more uragan rocket artillery system it's the most powerful rocket artillery system they have after it they have the ballistic missiles like iskander's and cruise missiles their artillery is very developed i mean the rocket artillery systems but still the american made harness is way more precise and may cover way more longer distance but why am i saying that russian systems are very advanced because they're quite cheap and russia may produce them massively because of that they have superiority if they have the constant supplies of the missiles and those systems to some other news probably you already know that chinese leader met uh, with joe biden today you know it from many of the media resources so i will not concentrate on this one i want just to say that it's a very important meeting the more important news as for me is the voting for the new budget of the united states of america again it is temporary senate should approve the new budget in january but we have the time for negotiations for the military support of ukraine and israel because both of those countries were excluded in this project of the budget but it doesn't mean that this voting is bad no it will help the united states to continue its normal operation even with temporary budget ukraine and israel have the chance for the separate funding program but it also should be approved by senate pentagon says that we need to help ukraine right now because they are out of the funds just one billion left to support ukraine it's nothing really compared to what ukraine needs to stabilize the front lines and move forward without the military support we are not saying that ukraine is going to move forward it's better to keep the current positions with supplies cut but i'm still quite positive about it i'm sure that ukraine will take what it needs to secure the front lines the good thing that our other allies for example as germany continue to support ukraine just today they announced the new military support it's not big but still they consistent with that and it's awesome i actually expected that denmark could block russian oil tankers from reaching markets because there was the russian ship sorry chinese ship involved and russian involved in targeting the pipeline between estonia and helsinki also i think denmark doesn't believe the story from the washington post about the ukrainian sabotage attack on the Nord stream pipelines because how would you put 1.5 tons of tnt to the small boat and then dive it down to 80 meters with just six crew members and without any kind of the special equipment no it's not possible i believe that washington post is wrong about their article blaming zaluzhny in his attempt to attack the Nord Stream pipeline no there is bigger force involved like russia for example russia openly says that it also doesn't believe that it was ukraine which conducted this mission they say it was the united states of america well whoever done it it wasn't ukraine for sure i wonder why journalists even published this article because it's just nonsense if we speak about the weight of the tnt and the taps in that sea it's not real there should be the special boat with the special equipment not the small sailboat that is unable to carry 1.5 tons of tnt plus many more stuff but in the case of the recent attack on the pipeline between estonia and finland the chinese vessel was involved it was at that particular time over a particular spot of explosion it was quite big to carry any kind of the explosives and any kind of the crew members on board there is some information from the russian sources that they deploy the wagner forces back on the ukrainian front lines for now in skadovsk on the southern part of Kherson oblast 
not far away from Crimea. I think that their goal would be to hold the Ukrainian advancement from the Dnieper River. That's why Russia needs to experience forces over here in Zaporizhia direction, for example, they use the power troop divisions. There are some of the events are happening on the left bank of the Dnieper River with Ukrainian landing operations, which Ukraine conducts in Krynke and over here. But I want to be silent about it for this time. I'm gonna speak about it maybe tomorrow or the day after tomorrow because something really interesting could happen over there. Okay, couple of words about Gaza. It seems like IDF forces met together in this point and advancing towards uh, the city center. So how much time do you think it will take them to get the city under control totally? I think not more than one month with the current pace, but still it's the urban environment and it's hard to tell whether they definitely took it under control or not, because there could be some local resistance, especially with many of the underground tunnels. My friends, don't forget to put the like to this video and also please check out my personal link in the video description just below, where you may find the Atlas UPN Premium with a huge Black Friday discount. Outstanding offer that is valid, especially for my subscribers. I wish you all a peaceful sky wherever you are and have a great time.